Hey guys, so today I just want to give you a little quick Asana tutorial of how I use Asana in my business to basically just keep overwhelm at bay, make me less stressed, and get all of my tasks organized for every client. So this is my task management. It manages all the workflows for my projects. So right here you guys can see all of the workflow templates that I have pre-built for my post wedding workflows and post engagement workflows and stuff like that so once I have a new client I'll come into this drop down arrow and hit copy project and then I'll rename it for them so let's see this weekend I have Jacqueline and Collins engagement session so I'll make their workflow here create new project and then you'll see down here it's loading so we'll wait for that to load and here it is. So we're going to drag this up to its proper position under, oh, under Laura Lee Photography. Okay, cool. So right here we have Jacqueline and Collins engagement session. And then once I get the session uploaded and my workflow starts, then I can go in and start checking off tasks that I complete. And if I'm not the one doing the task, then I can go in, click on it, and assign it to somebody else. So, for example, my mom might do something. She's my office manager and executive. I can assign a due date. So, both of those right here. Then I have exactly what I need to do in case I forget or have a headache or something like that. Or in case my mom forgets. So, the procedure is all written in the description right there. And that's what I would do all the way until the session is done. And then I would celebrate. So that is the list view, but there's also a board view for Asana, which is really awesome. And this is how Trello is set up. So if you like the way Trello is set up, then this is a good way to do certain boards. I think each project has its own strong suit whether it should be in list view or board view. There's definitely different uses for either of them. So right here I just made a template blogging board so you guys can see. So I have brain dump for blog ideas. These are all my lists. Uh, draft writing, scheduled, needs images, needs formatting, and done. So I can brain dump all of my blog ideas. So let's say five apps to help you save time in your business and then if I want to start writing it then I can move it over to draft writing if it needs images I can bring it over here and I can upload an image directly from my computer so we'll just say upload this cool image right here I would not do this if you're doing wedding blogs or engagement blogs, but if you just have one picture that you're uploading, like the title graphic or something like that, to pin to Pinterest, you can put that here just so you have everything in one place when you go to schedule it in your blog system. So from there, you can click on this and you'll see the picture pop up right there. Cool blue eyes. And then you can write a description if you need to. You can assign it to somebody. You can set a due date, subtasks if you need them. And you can also create tags. So if it's educational or for your brides or something like that, you can set a tag here. So education. And then you can pick a color. So that's really cool. So you can kind of color code all of your blog ideas and then when it's done you can just move it over to the done section click on it you can hit the check mark to say complete or you can go up here and say delete but I don't think that's as satisfying so I like to click the little check mark and then it'll just turn gray and then if I want to not view all the tasks that I have done You'll see up here it says view all tasks. I can just view incomplete tasks and then those will go away, which is really awesome. So those are the boards. And then you'll also see that I have a bunch of teams over here. 
So because I have my Asana set up as a organization, which is up here, an organization just means that you have it set up with a Gmail that doesn't end in Gmail. So basically for mine, it's hello at imlauralee.com, which you'll see up here, and then LN, that's just my initials. So having an organization means you can create teams without leaving your workspace. So under Laura Lee Photography or under I'm Laura Lee Organization, there's kind of a lot that goes on. So I have Laura Lee Photography, which is all my actual photo sessions. We have albums. I don't design my albums. My mom is my album designer. So I just created a team that I added her to so that I can kind of toggle this and hide it on my own board since I'm not the one worrying about that. And then I have educational courses, so all the courses that I'm doing, I can go in, put the PDFs in there, take notes in there, which is really awesome to keep everything organized. And then here I have all my templates and workflows, so these are the ones that I'm duplicating every time I have a new session and renaming them. And then here I have my fire pit sessions, so those are just my one-on-one -on -one mentoring sessions that I do to help people with their systems. So that is how I use Asana, and I hope this was helpful for you. I know it can be kind of overwhelming. There's a lot that this program can do, but I hope that this takes some overwhelm out of it for you. It can be really incredible, and it has just... It's so good to improve your efficiency and get all your clients organized and it's also available on mobile, so if you are on the go and you think of something you need to add to your list, then you can just go in and add it on your phone. And one quick note, if things don't belong to a certain project, you can just go under this My Tasks section and add a task. So if you need to do like laundry or something and you want to put it on your list, you can go on that and obviously it has nothing to do with the wedding so it's just going to sit under your tasks. So these are all the tasks I have for every project that I'm working on. So you'll see due dates and stuff like that. So those, that's my whole list and then you can also see the calendar view of your due dates which is awesome you can see what's coming up on what day and if you want to see the calendar for just one project you can go into that wedding or that project whatever it is click on calendar and you'll see the due dates just for that project so it's really cool because you can see either one project or a comprehensive calendar of your entire to-do list project management, task management, everything you have going on. So it's really awesome. Hopefully this helps you guys. And if you have any questions, let me know. I'm super excited to see what you guys do with this.